On this episode of Ink It with Calvin, how to run a 3D hub, I'm going to give you guys some tips for completing your first order, which is sent to you by 3D Hubs. So once your hub is all set up and ready to go, the first thing that 3D Hubs will do is they will send you the Marvin model as a test print, and it also gives you a good walkthrough of how the system works, if you have any problems, things like that. It's pretty easy to figure things out without real orders and real reputations being on the line. Now the first thing you'll notice if you're running an FDM printer like I am, which also happens to be doing a 3D Hubs order, is that the Marvin model is pretty darn tiny. This is intentionally done to make it more difficult and more of a challenge for you to pull off successfully. The first thing you'll notice is the fact that the legs are independent, so obviously there's retraction that needs to be dealt with. And then as it goes up into the body, you'll notice that there's areas that have unsupported overhangs because you're not allowed to use supports for the first model. And also areas that are tiny and somewhat delicate, which would be the top where the keychain mount is. Now, the first order of business, and these two go hand in hand, is don't have your temperature too high, which will cause problems with cooling. Now, if your printer is like mine and it has a pretty decent cooling setup on it, obviously make sure your temperature is not ridiculously high. I'm currently running Color Fabs PLA PHA at 230 degrees Celsius with a 100 millimeters a second feed rate. And the only reason why I'm running it a little bit high is because I'm going to be running this pretty much unattended the rest of the night. So I'd much rather have it a little bit higher than not high enough and run into flow issues. On the contrary, on a tiny model like this, you're going to want to drop your temperature and up your cooling as much as you can. Some people will even set up a small desk fan aimed at their printer to help improve the cooling while doing small prints. Obviously the only concern I have with doing this is sometimes the nozzle and heater assemblies are not very well insulated, the heater can't keep up, and the machine causes a temperature error, but that's just something that might or might not happen on your machine, so experiment and find out. The other thing to keep in mind with the model is don't print too fast and don't print too slow. Obviously because it is a tiny model, the machine's gonna have to accelerate and decelerate, and it can really only do that accurately at so fast of a rate. These are big models that I'm printing right now, so I can easily get away with 100 millimeters a second, but I don't think it would work on a model as small as the stock Marvin. I tend to run them around 30 to 50 millimeters a second, and that gives me the best results. Lastly, if all else fails while you're printing your Marvin, the talk section on 3D Hubs is amazing. There's tons of helpful people out there. If you're having problems, you could even try the administrator support on the order, but there's no shame in running on to the forums and saying, help, help, I need, I'm having this problem, I'm having that problem, and peek around. You might find somebody who has the similar printer to yours that's had similar problems and somebody gave a great answer. That's the beauty of 3D Hubs, is the fact that everybody is pretty open and willing to share useful information with you because at the end of the day, it's mutually beneficial. There could be 10 other people sitting out there going, I don't know how to do this, they read your post, problem solved. So I hope that helped you guys a little bit with the Marvin model as it is a little bit tricky and it's not impossible to do but it's definitely a good challenge for your printer. Obviously if you guys have any more questions about running a 3D hub or just questions in general please leave them in the comments down below and if I get enough good ones I might just do a Q&A segment on them. So I'll see you guys next time on Make It With Calvin.